Okay, now that's all great. Our code should actually work from here, uh, but there's nothing yet that sets our update to true. So we'll need to do that in our collision script, which is down here. Remember this on controller collider hit? Well, now it says if hit.gameobject.tag equals fallout, which is our fallout box when we fall off the level. But now we need to make sure that there's a tag that is called enemy projectile. Now, hold on. Before we continue, I see that there's a little error in my script. And it says on line number 44, character 44, I have an unknown identifier tumble speed. So let's uh, see what's wrong here. Okay, I, I forgot a little M tumble speed let's save this and our error is gone okay sorry about that you probably watched the video and just saw that the whole time while I was talking uh, but you can stop me because it's a video so next we need to get into our hit coding so if the hit variable is a game object dot tag and we'll call this tag which we haven't defined yet so we'll need to do that also Call this tag enemy projectile. This way we have a difference between enemy projectiles and friendly fire so that we don't get hit by our own fire balls. Okay, then we say dot hit equals true. That easy. So that's pretty much it. Now we need to actually change our enemy projectile because there's nothing in the engine yet that makes this is an enemy projectile. So let's save this script, we're done with that one, and let's look into tagging our fireball using the enemy projectile tag. Now adding a tag is not too hard because we've done that before. Just uh, when you're in Unity, go to uh, edit, and then project settings, and then tags, and it will show you a whole list of things. Open up the little triangle right next to tag, and then in an empty element type enemy, projectile so that gives us the tag let me copy and paste it so just to make sure to have the exact same spelling including capitals and that sort of thing back into the move around script and then let me paste it once again it looks like the spelling was correct but just to be sure all right uh, let me close this and save but now you might think okay it might work but there's only one problem when the turret shoots um, the bullet there is not yet a tag assigned to this bullet so if you open the tour turret control script and then move down to just before we add the force to the rigid body we just type and i do um i do actually know that i'm consistently misspelling bullet with an i i know that that is not correct but for some reason that's just the way my brain works or some just go bullet dot game object with a capital o dot tag equals and then paste that tag in there again, enemy projectile. So now when the bullet shoots, it is tagged as an enemy projectile and we should spin around. So let's test this real quick, see if our game works. And let us let me get hit by this bullet here. And as you can see, as we get hit, we spin around. Now there's a couple errors here because when we get hit multiple times, it just keeps spinning. That's not exactly what we want. Uh, we want it to decay a little faster, so let's play with the parameters here a little bit. So let me go into the worm, look for our move around script, and I'm going to change tumble speed to 1000 instead of 800. And then the de decrease time, it was very slow. So by the time it was done spinning, I was already hit, uh, hit by something else, so we need to make that faster. So I'm going to change that to 0 0.09. And then our decay time, he, he, he was rotating a little bit too long, so I'm going to change that to 0 0.1. Let's see what happens now when we get hit. He spins and then keeps spinning. This is not right. It looks like our character just keeps on spinning once he is back to 0. So that is our tumble speed. When our tumble speed is less than one, if for some reason he's not being reset. So I already found it. There's an error right here. Instead of writing got hit, I wrote get hit. So that's a little error from my part. So let's save this. And now it should stop spinning by the time I get hit once. So I get hit there. And then I'm not getting hit. And then I'm getting hit again. So that works a lot better now. 
I still think the rotation is a little fast, a little weird. So let me change the tumble speed to 800 instead of 1,000. And then the crease time to 0 0.1. And maybe the decay time a lot higher, 0 0.6. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that's that's pretty much okay. Yeah, so we still have a couple things to fix as in making sure that once we are spinning we're not getting hit again because that's a little unfair. But so far this seems to work okay. Uh, it's a little slow because of my video capturing software but uh, if I turn that off it will look nicer than that. Um, okay, so next what we need to do is subtract the lives from the character or actually the the body parts from the character so we'll do that next.